Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel and thank you guys so much for clicking on today's video. Today, today is a makeup tutorial about Christmas in July. I know everyone's like, what? It's not even August yet, but it's been going like all over like the Disney, you know, Instagram circuit market area. Everyone's posting Christmas pictures on their Disney Instagram. And I'm like, I need to be a part of this. So why not do um, a Christmas inspired look in July? But you can absolutely click on this video in November, December, if you guys are going to go and you need some makeup inspo. If you want to go like really crazy dramatic, this is the one. But if you want something more natural and toned down, also let me know down below so I can get that out for you before... July ends. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you guys again so much for watching. And if you want to see how I did this dramatic Christmas in July look for the Disney parks, then just keep on watching. Alright guys, I'm going to take my Charlotte Tilbury face primer and apply it all over my face. X foundation in NC20 with my Real Techniques foundation brush and I'm going to apply that all over. Next, I'm going to take my e.l.f. concealer that like I said I've been trying out and it's pretty good. And now I'm gonna take my light mineralized skin finish in MAC and I take the shade light to really highlight underneath my under eye area. And again, going in with bronzer, I'm going in with a dark tan mineralized skin finish bronzer and then I go in with a darker one in Dark Deepest. With my favorite e.l.f. brush, it's so good for bronzing. Now I'm taking my Milani Brow Gel. I've actually been really liking this. It works so well and it honestly keeps my brows on all day long. I'm just underlining underneath my brow and then I slightly fill in the brow and just start to like work the product all the way through my brow. And then I give it a good brush at the end. Right before I apply my brow gel in Girl Boy from MAC. And taking that same e.l.f. concealer, I'm using it as an eyeshadow base. Okay guys, and this is my first time ever using Makeup Geek shadows. I was so excited to try these out. So the first color I'm taking from Makeup Geek is called So Pale. And I'm just popping that right underneath my brow bone to help me with any kind of blending I'm going to be doing. The next color I'm taking in my crease with a blending brush is called All of You. And to help blend that out, I am taking the shade Mint to Be to help buff out any of the edges, kind of soften up the look to blend with the white shade and the darker green we did. Now to get the smokiness going, I'm going to take the shade Spilled Tea. You better spill the tea. We are using that shade to darken up the outer corner of the eye and to start to add more depth. 
Now to really deepen up the outer crease, I'm using the shade Enchanted Forest. Now you can see I'm just lightly pressing the color down first, um, just so I have control of the placement. And then once I've deposited all the color, that's when I start to lightly buff out the edges. Now underneath my lower lash line, I am smudging the shade All of You. I do have a coupon code for you guys to use for 10% off any of your Makeup Geek purchases. The code is Eric Canes, and I will leave the coupon in the description box. Next, I'm taking my e.l.f. liquid shadow as an eyeshadow base for the glitter. I am going to be using this copper glitter that I have from MAC Cosmetics. And I'm just pressing that all over my eyelid on top of the glitter base. And to highlight my inner corner, I'm taking the shade Illuminati and highlighting the inner corner of my eye. Next, I'm applying a light coat of mascara. And then I'm taking my Ardell Wispies. Again, I double stack them. I think they're my same lashes from last time. Don't judge me. So I'm taking a red lip liner from MAC and I am starting with my Cupid's bow. And I'm just outlining the natural shape of my lip and lightly going a little bit over all the way around. And I'm taking my time. I'm not like going in like aggressively. It kind of looks like it in the video, but I literally took my time, especially with red lip liner. You want to be a little patient and not get crazy. And then I took a MAC liquid lipstick. Liquid lips, like I said, for the Disney parks are perfect because you don't have to reapply after you eat or you're having your hot cocoa or anything like that. It'll stay for the whole entire time you're at the park. And we're finished. Thank you guys so much for watching and sticking through the whole video. If you did watch the whole thing, leave me um, Christmas tree emojis. So I know you stayed for the whole entire thing. Mm -hmm. um, I just want to say thank you guys again for hanging out with me and doing this fun tutorial. Um, like I said, you don't have to do this for July, but maybe like the winter Christmas season, holiday season, you guys can do this look. I mean, you don't want to wear red and green for July and August. That's okay. <laughs> but if you do decide to do this look, make sure you do tag me at hashtag Disney is home. Make sure you guys comment on the video, the Christmas trees, and you like the button. And if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, please do come hang out with us. All right, guys. Thank you again. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.